Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World and welcome to just a really chatty video. I've got some updates for you, I've got some life admin I guess for you, I've also um, got some questions for you and then I thought I'd finish off this video by talking about what I'm currently reading. So my videos have been a little bit sporadic recently and that is because we've had a lot going on in the last few months. Um, I have very briefly touched upon stuff that is happening in some reading vlogs, so I do like my Susan Scarlet reading vlogs and things, um, and I very briefly said got stuff going on and I said at some point I'll talk about it. Very briefly going to talk about it, but very briefly. Um, so first things first, although it's a negative, but I'm going to make it into a positive, and that is that puppy unfortunately has been a little bit poorly. If you can hear any clanging, it's actually him just walking around the room. <laughs> um, he's been a little bit poorly recently. We've been to see specialists and we now have a diagnosis and we have a moving forward. And although it has broken our heart in so many ways, I'm not gonna talk about it, but um, yeah, that is what's been going on. Um, but you know, it's one of these things where, as I said, I wanna turn it into a positive. It's really made me look at life really differently. I could be really down about the fact that he, you know, is poorly and things. Um, he is now on medication and it's, it's just a new step in life. I think because he's a rescue, because we adopted him, um, I feel like he's already back a few years anyway. Like, and now he gets this and it's just like, oh. But um, yeah, as I said, I wanna turn to positive because can't live life in a negative, can you? You know, what's the point? So moving it forward, you know, steps. So that is what's kind of been focusing a lot of my attention. Um, we've been back and forth to specialists in Birmingham. Um, but I feel like life is, it's getting settled with him now. So that's good. Um, the other big thing that has been taking up a lot of our time is that we got married. Um, probably can't see my wedding ring, but it's, un it's there. That's my wedding ring. Um, and it's my engagement ring. Take that off. I can't take my wedding ring off. Um, so yes, we got married. Um, hence the cards. Um, I haven't got any there because the dolls are there, but I've got one there. I've got them all over the place. Um, we got married. Uh, mid-July and it was the most wonderful wonderful weekend we made a whole weekend of it because I always remember what my brother said um, so my brother's older than me and he said to me when we got married I didn't get to speak to everyone that I wanted to speak to and the day went so fast so we decided right those are the big things to take away this is what we're gonna do we had a really small wedding there was less than 30 of us it was really small really intimate it was lovely and we made it into a whole week weekend thing. So on the Friday we got married, on the Saturday it was just like us, my parents and my brother and his kids' um, family. Uh, we had fish and chips, which was lovely and it was such a relaxed day, what I needed. And then on the Sunday there was, I think there was 16 of us, something like that, and we had a barbecue. And it was really, really nice. And I wouldn't change anything. People kept going, oh, it's a shame about the weather because it rained on our wedding day. Well, it rained partly on our wedding day. It rained the bit going to the church, in the church, out the church, the start of the reception. By the end of the reception, the sun was out. So people were like, I'm leaving and the sun is coming out. We didn't leave. We had a good old evening. Um, but... Uh, I actually really liked that because the reception, we went to the church and the reception was in my parents' back garden. My dad's got a big garden and he's wonderful at gardening. And what I thought was gonna happen was everyone was gonna be everywhere, all the different parts of the garden, having a look at this and that, because my dad's got a wonderful garden. And I was a bit worried that that was gonna happen and I wanted everyone to be together, but the rain forced everyone into the marquee which was just what I wanted. I wanted everyone together and everyone was together, so that was wonderful. Puppy was ring bearer. He was the cutest little ring bearer you ever did see. He had a bandana and a bow tie and his bow tie matched my 
husband's tie um so that is wonderful and yeah he was so cute and it was just the perfect weekend and it is a bit strange getting used to things um but very happy and just yeah so that's been that's been my time we've been <laughs> busy at the vets and then busy sorting wedding stuff but both of those things hopefully fingers crossed will now just settle down and we can chill and relax and things like that now um moving forward um i am now looking at tudor timber content oh that year is that time of year is rolling around again um I love Tudor Temba, I really, really do, but I always like to be slightly ahead of the game. So um, come August, that's when I do the majority of my filming. I really don't like to film too much in September because I'm always like panic. Um, so I like to have stuff in the bank, so to speak. Now, Tudor Temba 2022 went ahead as normal, but there was a gap. And that was because of the passing of our late Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. It didn't feel right to carry on um, talking history when living history was just literally happening in front of me. Um, so I paused the video for a couple of weeks. So there are some videos that I was going to do then that I may carry on to this year. But I thought, why not get you involved are there any specific videos that you would like to see from me? Is it the reading vlogs that you enjoy? Is it discussions that you enjoy? Is it when I stick on my historian hat and I do my videos, you know, like I did my uh, Rethinking the Six Wives of Henry VIII videos, that was me putting on my historian hat. Um, are those the videos that you like to see? Let me know because I'm all yours. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what your favourite videos to watch of mine are when it comes to Tudor Tamba. Um, and if they are the historian ones, then I do need a little bit of time. Um, maybe there's a specific question that you have in relation to Tudor history. Um, I'm all ears. <laughs> I can answer that for you. Um, hopefully. Or find out if it's an obscure one. That's always fun. Um, historians love a good research love a research question so yeah let me know reading vlogs reading book reviews i don't know you name it i'll see what i can do so let me know in the comment section pretty please what you'd like to see this tudor timber can't believe how quickly it is rolling around mm -hmm. um look out for updates of course in august um and then I thought I'd finish off by telling you what I'm currently reading. So I'm currently reading two books, both of which I've very kindly sent for review. So thank you to the publishers for kindly sending them to me. So the first one that I'm currently reading, I, I'm I'm reading a non-fiction and fiction. That's generally how I, how I roll. So my fiction that I'm currently reading is One Year's Time by Angela Milne. So this is part of the uh, women writers series. Here are the rest of them. I recently reviewed this one. Sing Me Who You Are by Elizabeth Berridge. And um, I have to say thank you so much for your comments on that review because I was a little bit nervous putting that review up actually because it's not necessarily a completely positive review. Like there's part of the books that part of the book that I enjoyed, but it's not a me book. Like it's not my humour. And I didn't get out of it as much as I kind of wanted to, or as much as I think a lot of other people will. If you definitely have that sense of humour, then you'll enjoy it more than I will. Um, but I just wanted to be honest, so that's why I spoke up. But yeah, I love these books so much, and I've got so many wonderful favourites in this series. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I am here, um, which is on page 85. I'm in the second part of the book and yeah really really enjoying it just I'm taking it really really slowly um let me know if you are currently reading this because this has just come out the other book that I am currently reading is uh one that was very kindly sent after I requested it from the history press and this is my non-fiction this is Mrs Pankhurst Bodyguard on the trail of Kitty Marshall and the Met Police Cats by M I, I don't know if it's Emmeline Godfrey um, this is non-fiction about the bodyguards of Emmeline Pankhurst and essentially about the bodyguards of the WSPU and their relationship with the police. 
and it's really really fascinating i'm here which is i don't know how far it's through really because this book's about 220 ish pages and i'm on page what am i oh 167 so nearly there because obviously with non-fiction you get a lot of like bibliographies and indexes and notes and stuff so yeah really enjoying that so that's what i'm going to be reading over the weekend and enjoying and um am i up to anything this weekend no <laughs> i don't think so um just the usual so yeah anyway um i think that's it for my little update Ta -da! um yeah as i said let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see for tutor timber those are my updates about puppy and getting married <laughs> and um thank you so much for watching this video so take care and i shall see you soon for the next one bye for now